Crown Gemini, welcome to your tarot love messages for the month here. As always, these messages are going to be general, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Um, so this reading here is intended for Gemini Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching as well. We'll give the cards a shuffle and see what um, they're predicting for you for this coming month. The world card here down the bottom. Oh gosh, let me just straighten this out. Okay, great. Okay, we'll pull out a few more cards here. Okay, Gemini, I feel like you guys are on the verge, on the precipice, on some really big changes here, some really big, um, some very big powerful transformation, some transitioning here is happening, um, some, I feel like there are endings here, endings of cycles, beginning of new ones here, perhaps even endings of relationships, or maybe even endings of like cyclical behavior sorry for that background noise but i feel like maybe something he ends for you and it gives you an opportunity to begin something again or something he ends for you and um i feel like you can sort of you know put that to rest here so put um and it sort of allows you to transition here so if there is any endings here when it comes to relationships love romance here um allow for those endings to happen because um essentially what those endings are doing is they're transforming you okay they're helping you grow and they're taking you to places that you need to go here and that very person perhaps may not be going here um so may not be assisting you on your journey hence why there's a need to end something here um Okay, I definitely see closures. For a lot of you, I feel like this month here is going to bring in a closure and I feel like you'll finally be able to put an end to a certain situation or a certain relationship or even put an end to something so you can move forward. You, For some of you, look, you'll be moving forward with this person, but you'll be moving on from something, okay? You'll be moving on from something um, that I feel like has in a way held you back or has stagnated your relationship with this person. So I definitely see there being moved forward movement of course it can also mean though because i do feel like um i get this strong sense of transitioning taking place so some of you are actually moving here to be closer to someone is what i'm seeing so you could be moving houses or relocating city states perhaps even bigger like countries to either be closer to someone or this relocation might not even have anything to do like you it might not even relate to this person but i feel like a relocation here to another city country state or even a different area here might actually bring you closer to um, a new romantic energy okay so there may be a likelihood that you'll meet someone new upon relocating here some of you I feel like when it comes to like your love life things feel a little bit flat and I can see some of you maybe you're feeling a little bit bored even if you're in a relationship or if you're single if you're single maybe you haven't had a lot of luck and you're sort of bored with the you know with the romantic romantic prospects that are available maybe to you maybe you're looking for someone or something different maybe it's you know same same but different for some of you guys but I get a sense that some of you are just feeling flat and even for those of you that are in a relationship you feel like oh okay well is this it kind of energy you know um, are we going to move on from here is this going anywhere or is this as good as it gets it's a bit of a flat energy so pull yourself out of that you know if there's something missing um in your connection it's probably best that you speak up okay and see if you can um and hopefully, you know, you can change that, the both of you. Um, and if you're single, maybe it's all about stepping outside your comfort zone and just doing things differently, okay? Maybe 
um, you know, strike up that conversation with that person who isn't your usual type. Maybe they're not, you know, the honey that you normally go for, but give them a chance. So do something, I guess, that you ordinarily wouldn't do, okay? So definitely if you're feeling a little bit flat or a little bit uninspired, take some action to pull yourself out of that energy. Definitely closures with the Eight of Cups. Some of you, as I mentioned, you know, there's a sense of walking away or transitioning that's happening. And that's going to be very powerful because not only is this a physical transformation, it's also such an important mental and emotional transformation as well. Um, now, some of you, I feel like with the Sun card, look, the month, this month here is going to usher in a lot of wonderful moments or a lot of wonderful memories are going to be created this month or there's going to be a lot of wonderful opportunities. I feel like in different areas of your life, it may not even relate to love. It could extend like to career or just to personal growth here. You'll have the opportunity to grow, okay? So either move on from something or I feel like you could grow a business or you could grow a relationship. Um, you could grow spiritually. I'm seeing a lot of growth. I'm seeing a lot of opportune moments. I'm seeing a lot of opportunities this month here. Be open, okay? Be open because I feel like you're in a great energy field. Take advantage of this energy field because you're attracting to me here, Gemini. It feels like you're in the right place at the right time. So take advantage of that kind of energy because you're attracting all the right people, all the right things. You're on such a high um, emotional frequency that things are just... You'll notice that everything is working out for you. You'll truly have the Midas touch this month, okay? And that's because you're on such a great frequency here. So keep, um, you know, keep vibrating to that frequency because I feel like it's bringing in wonders for you. Um, some of you with the High Priestess, I get a sense that either you're going to be asked here to guard a secret of some sort or you are guarding a secret that I feel like is... Um, it can be weighing heavy on you here, Gemini, or I feel like maybe you've just had enough, okay? You've been guarding a secret for too long and maybe um, you finally want to, you know, share this secret with someone purely because you feel like it'll help offload for you. Um, or someone may come in and ask you to guard a secret here, okay? So someone may share something with you that, you know, is a little bit unsolicited or, you know, you shouldn't have heard it. Um, and maybe it's their way of sort of offloading onto you. If you feel uncomfortable, you know, say so from the beginning because once you hear the secret, you can't unhear it. So if there's something someone shares with you which you feel like, oh, I don't want to know, I don't want to get involved, tell this person from the beginning because I feel like it can be a bit of a burden to carry, okay? The world card, I feel like new beginnings here. Um, something here is coming to an end for you. Let it because ultimately I feel like it's going to lead to a bigger, better and just a fantastic beginning here. So if something here is ending, don't try and hold on to something. Like don't try and shrink yourself purely because you feel like you need to fit into a relationship that you outgrew. Okay, so you know, if something here ends for you, it's because you are bigger than that person or bigger than that thing. So just let it let it do what it's here to do, which is essentially transform you, help you grow here. Um, I just feel like this month here is going to be a great month for you. I just feel like there's a lot of positivity, a lot of changes. There is going to be some uncomfortable um, uh, uncomfortable situations where, you know, I've mentioned the ending of things or just you even feeling a little bit flat and uninspired. But if you can find, if you can allow that an inspiration to sort of, if you can find ways to let that, let your an inspire like let your demotivate demotivated energy inspire you in some good ways like use that flat energy use it as fuel is what i'm trying to say or use that you know lack of motivation as fuel here to to move you forward here so it's all about sort of balancing the energies out and we need that you know we need the good we need the good with the bad you know you need we need that contrast, I guess, to fully appreciate. So with the, with the Six of Pentacles energy, I feel like there are so many things in your life here that are balancing out. And you'll see a lot of, you'll see substantial evidence of this in your life here. Things are, things are reaching combinations here, so they should. Things are finally, you know, balancing out. There's an equilibrium in your life that is coming back in. And I feel like you're restoring it here. You're, you've got a great energy here. Something here comes together in a very big way. Some of you, I see some collaboration being done. You could even be collaborating with a romantic energy on a new business ID or a project of some sort. It could be something like the two of you can, maybe you're going to make a video and put it out on TikTok or on Instagram or social media, you know, YouTube. Um, but I see that being very successful and I see that generating a lot of views and a lot of um, like likes, thumbs up. Um, in a very short amount of time, okay? Because again, I feel like you're very, the two of you are very similar, you're very in sync. 
um, be very in flow with one another the seven of swords this is your energy here i feel like there is going to for some of you i see you're you're sort of fabricating a lie or i some of you 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 feel the need i don't know what this relates to maybe some of you are okay there's something here so it could be like a secret that you're hiding here gemini but you're sort of fabricating okay and you may want to tell finally tell this person to open up get it off your chest but even so i don't feel like you're going to tell them the full extent of the secret i feel like you're going to tell them a version of a truth if you get my drift i feel like you're going to fabricate it to make it maybe seem not as bad so that's what i see some of you doing i feel like you're, you're either going to be trying to get away with something that look on a um on you know on a subconscious level you probably know that you shouldn't be doing this either this is your energy or someone involved here but i feel like this is your energy though so a part of you feels like oh okay i know what i'm doing is wrong but i don't want this person to know the whole truth i don't want it to sound too bad so i'm just gonna fabricate the truth i'm just gonna embellish it a little bit is what i'm getting and i feel like it's best that you do tell the truth no matter how bad you feel like it might sound to the other person purely because a lot of the times it's not the act itself that people get really you know worked up about it's more so the deceit behind the act so just come out with it you know say your truth because at the end of the day i feel like at least that person will know and at least that's one burden off your chest and that way you know there's no room for resentment later down the track you know resentment about any deception or any lies okay guys and this is your reading so thank you as always for watching and listening Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I will be sharing with you all more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.